Today is a great day at the Port of Long Beach because today we unveiled the first of its kind Trigen platform here supporting Toyota and the Port of Long Beach delivering hydrogen, water, and power. All clean, all renewable. That makes it a great day not only for the port, but for the people that live right here in this community. The Port of Long Beach, in partnership with Toyota North America and Fuel Cell Energy, celebrated the grand opening of the first of its kind Tri-Gen Renewable Energy Project at Toyota Logistics Services at Pier B. It's our biggest operation as far as ports. Uh, there's a desperate need, you know, in the community for cleaner solutions, and so it was a perfect marriage to do it here. The Tri-Gen system is a zero emission process that uses biogas, diverted from landfills, to produce electricity that is then used to generate up to 1,400 kilograms a day of renewable hydrogen for fuel cell vehicles, such as the Toyota Mirai, which is imported to Toyota Logistics Services, the largest Toyota processing facility in North America, as well as supplying hydrogen fuel for the heavy-duty drayage trucks that operate at the port. The clean water byproduct, up to 1,200 gallons a day, is used to wash and process close to 200,000 new Toyota and Lexus vehicles for distribution each year. It's a long-standing commitment and relationship that Long Beach has had with Toyota. Uh, we're actually home to TABC, the only Toyota manufacturing plant on the West Coast is here in Long Beach. And so it's great to see the continued innovation and commitment from Toyota and the partnership here in the city of Long Beach. That innovation is reducing carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide emissions at the Port of Long Beach and for the surrounding communities, while easing the strain on the electric power grid and California water supplies. I'm proud to say that our partners like Toyota and Fuel Cell Energy seized that opportunity to be forces for environmental change. They continue to invest in new technologies adopt sustainable practices, and share our goals as the green port. Just today, driving from Southgate to, to the port, I saw two electric trucks carrying cargo, and that tells me that it is happening, and that the port have a big role to play in incentivizing and pushing this transition to zero emission in the yard equipment, in the vessels, and in the trucks that are coming in and out. When we talk about ports, GE volume is spoken about a lot. You know, what's the metric, how many years do you move? That's important, but as important is, again, how we move it. And at the Port of Long Beach, we're very proud that we've accomplished a number of milestones since the proclamation of the Green Port Policy. And today is another milestone. Moving forward to fuel cell energy, and of course, hydrogen fuel cell. I think the future of the Port of Long Beach, again, we're on course here in terms of moving forward with 100% zero emission port. Visit polb.com forward slash environment to learn how the Port of Long Beach is leading the industry on the goal of zero emission goods movement.